Hey fashion quirkers, so today I'm doing a review on a product that I love, okay, absolute love, and I've been quite a fan of Benefit, I'd probably say for maybe the last year, which doesn't seem that long, I know everyone's been breathing and loving it before, but for some reason I really didn't get into it, I originally bought their Poor Professional and I just didn't like it at first, but now I do, anyway, I digress, whole other story, so I am talking about today Roller Lash, and again, this is a product that I originally looked at and I was like what is up with that packaging man I just I didn't get it I didn't like it and I just thought it looked really clumpy um but anyway again my opinion has changed on this since number one I know a lot of people have raved about it and if someone's raving I always like to understand where they're coming from really um, and then look at it from my own perspective which I have done and I actually took a close look at the packaging and now because I understand the concept I think it's really cute and it's a good product so let me just take you through it um, so this is what it looks like um, obviously you've got the cute pink ending here um, and you've got the writing in pink here roller lash now the name roller lash what might actually seem quite obvious but wasn't obvious to me for some reason is the fact that this on the end is a hair roller like as in roll your hair you know round of hair roller um, and that's why you've got this um this pink ending like this um but now what's really really cute about this is obviously it's your standard opening um and but it's the brush itself that's actually um the great bit so if you look at the shape you've got hang on let me get to you guys in position there you've actually got a curve to that brush there you see how that dips um so what you've got here is you've got your shorter combs and at the bottom here you've got your longer combs you see the length difference there i think you can pick that up and then if i actually tilt it that way the brush shape changes again and you've got your medium sized combs now what i do like to point out is that on the end here you don't actually have the ball of spiky combs that you do have on the um, benefit they're real um which is why i originally didn't like the idea because that was the whole concept behind their real that i did really like but I would say that this is a real competitor for their real, and I, at a push, I think I'd say I prefer this one. And the reason I really do think that is the combination of the shorter mid and long combs on the brush shape means that it's actually engineered to be able to pick up every different lash type on your eye. So everybody has um, in their lash line naturally different lengths of lashes and different shapes. So some people um, will maybe have more than one of type of lash than others which is why i guess different mascaras are better for different people but what this actually has been designed to do is to pick up all those different types on every different type of person so the long combs short combs mid combs will pick up lashes that go straight out that have grown this direction lashes that grow up in this direction both long and short lashes so if you're combing with one part of the um wand but it's not giving you that effect then you swizzle it round and comb with the others other sides um and it's very layerable it does not smudge it does not sprinkle and it does last a heck of a long time i really can't fault the formula it doesn't have an unpleasant smell it's not gloopy i've used it for a good month and it's probably it's probably just starting to run out now the price point is i think it's around the 20 pound marks it's kind of it's kind of pricey but then you pay for what you get you know you spend eight or nine pound on um a mascara maybe in, in a, like a drugstore type mascara and I mean it does flake it does sprinkle and you end up looking like a panda personally I think I'd rather pay another tenner and have something that actually for that month I'm gonna feel good about and I'm gonna know that I put it on the morning and like right now it is quite late at night and it's still on there um so yeah no I I think a really really good review on this I definitely will be repurchasing this um, I did get some there real for Christmas as well so I might actually just do a comparison between them both to kind of like see where we're at um, but yeah let me know what you guys think and if you're on the fence about this definitely buy it I really can't see that you're not going to like it the only thing I would say that maybe not everyone would like like myself at first is I do think the packaging until you understand the concept it just does look a little bit random doesn't it do you know what I mean like you've got all your like cute makeup and then and then there's this on the end there's a roller guy just popped in to say hello in your makeup bag it's a bit random but it's different and we embrace differentness so yeah thanks for joining me remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon all right bye